Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. As we have announced that today, inshallah, before khutbah, we will be listening to a Palestinian activist, uh, Brother Haj Bakar Zmaharame, uh, regarding the situation in Palestine and giving us update of what is really happening there and uh, how our brothers and sisters in Palestine are standing, alhamdulillah, together, united against injustice and aggression. So, brother will be giving a brief pre-khutbah talk before we get into our, you know, formal official khutbah, inshallah. We welcome brother Bakar al-Maharame, salawat ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد دي برادر وسستر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. I شكرا to everybody in our brothers and our علماء our scholars for giving us the opportunity to update you for what's exactly happening in the land of Masjid Al Aqsa and in Palestine in general. Uh, as you everybody seen most of the video, most of the clips, most of the stuff is happening in Gaza, uh, in Palestine in general, Sheikh Al Jarrah, and uh, the most uh, what's happening. Uh, let's focus a little bit in every part of Palestine. Uh, your brother and sister in Palestine going through the most difficult time after the war in Gaza uh, because they've been left with borders closed. They've been left with nothing, no uh, medical aid being arranged to them. There is no uh, food supply, the water supply, the electricity supply. They're actually choking them more and more because of the victory of the brother who arranged uh, uh, the victory of the Palestinian against the aggression of Israel. The Zionists today is busy slaughtering the brother in Gaza indirectly. They was bombarding them 11 days ago, and now they're killing them without giving them food or medical, which is the least things is the medical for now for this. Almost 3,900 people being injury, bad injury. We have lost uh, 257 lives, most of them children, women, elderly people. Uh, Israeli haven't achieved their target at all when they're attacking Gaza. They haven't achieved what they thought and they told the world lies after lies. The brother did a very great job. We make dua for all of them. And uh, I just thank you again to whoever contribute to the brother in Gaza uh, amongst uh, uh, Hezbollah in south of Beirut, uh, uh, Sheikh Hassan Nasrullah. Allah be uh, uh, with him and give him the full heart support our brother in Iran who supported the Gaza with the missiles and all what they need. Uh, I appeal to all the brothers to give me a one second to say we are standing for Palestine and we've been marching for Palestine. I am a Palestinian. I've been in South Africa and uh, I came and to explain what is exactly happening. Your brother and sister in Palestine busy going, dying a life. That's what you all need to know. And this is our duty as a brother to stand up and say enough it is enough it's our duty as a brother and sister to say you know what not lips talk we have an opportunity i came and afforded it to maulana last week and uh, i'm sure he will address the public of what we are brought to his attention we march we fast we did of all of our ability for the palestinian but did we make any change Inside Palestine, I will say zero. Zero inside Palestine, not out of Palestine. I can address them, address brother and sister in this uh, masjid. Uh, we call, uh, last week I was following closely to the news, seven billion US dollar being collected from the French people. French people, not French government. The population of Fran France. Seven billion US dollar for the Zionist people after the missiles has been hit from Gaza. In UK, 
9 billion pound being collected from the uh, from the British to the Zionist people also for the same cause. What have we done for the Palestinian? What have we achieved to the Palestinian besides marching, besides walking in the street, besides fasting? And it's all good deed. Thank you so much. We very much appreciate it. It makes a difference. But what have we done exactly to those brother and sister? If I say what we've done, I can say to all of you, zero. There was so many people who was out there collecting money. There's some people collecting march on the marches, on the radio, on the stations, everywhere. But where is the money? Having received the borders closer uh, of, between Gaza and Egypt, uh, Israel closed the border between uh, Gaza and the Israel side, Jordanian government closed the border. There's absolutely nothing. And uh, with all your dua, with all your marches today, Allah has granted us amazing opportunity. And I appeal to everybody in the masjid here with Maulana and everybody. We have an opportunity in our hand. We got the permission to travel to Gaza and carry the medical in our hand, arrange with the embassy of Palestine in Pretoria, with the Egyptian government, with the Red Cross of Egypt, to open for us the border as a South African to enter this and that's what a big victory for South African people to take this honor to Gaza, hand on hand. We arrange for doctors, paramedics, uh, we arrange uh, for a solid volunteer, we arrange for um, any medical field to come forward to us. Our address, our offices on, on, the, uh, ba on the banner. And uh, I say again to all my brother, Palestinian brother, we've been for decade going through this hardship for 72 years. And for 72 years, there is nothing has changed except who are really from Syria, come forward to send missiles to Gaza, from Iran and from Hezbollah. And uh, uh, Allah mercy and souls of uh, our brother Qasim Soleimani, who was fully hearted of Palestine, who did also a lot, we acknowledge and we know that. I'm not standing in the member here in the masjid talking differently. We're all brother. Our cause for our Palestinian, for our Masjid Al-Aqsa. If you love Masjid Al-Aqsa, if you love your brother, come let's join and have this journey to be successful. I was in all over the show. Yes, there is people trying to break this journey. Maybe from the Zionists who's trying to break us not to go forward. Uh, there is some other of uh, people who are not happy for us to make this journey because uh, there is a lot of politics, as you guys know, uh, in South Africa between people like Hamas, people don't like uh, PLO, uh, even there's other difference between this one and that one. I don't want to go into details. The thing is we are standing for Masjid Al-Aqsa. That is our heart way it's set. There is, let's leave the different in one side. Let's leave the whole aggression and argument amongst each other in one side. We talk in Palestine, we talk in Masjid Al-Aqsa. That is our honor from Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. He's instructed us to keep that close to our heart. And I'm going to raise something very important today. Uh, I have a question to everybody in this masjid. Does, does anybody know why do you love Palestine? Why do you love Al-Aqsa? Why your heart is there? There is a war in Iraq. There is a war in Syria. There is a war in Yemen. There is a war in Libya. There is a war in Kashmir, in Myanmar. Why, when it comes to Palestine, it's totally different? Does anyone know about why? I'm going to tell my brother why. Maybe our ulama know why, but uh, I just going to say it why. Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was doing one of the khutbah. And he said, in the khutbah, يَأْتِي يَوْمٌ عَلَىٰ أُمَّةِ يُقَاتِلُونَ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ وَيُقْتَلُونَ I will say it in Arabic, honor for Rasulullah, and I will translate it in English. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, there is one of the day of my ummah, they're going to fight for the sake of Allah, and they're going to be killed. Uh, the people in the masjid ask him, أَمِنْ قِلَّ يَا مُحَمَّدْ he said it's because little. He said in Qutha on Qutha is sale. There's millions and millions, but they are useless. 
He said, which people, Ya Rasulullah? What kind of people is those? So Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he had the wisdom. He don't want to say, if he say South Africa, then we worship the South African. If he say Iraq, then we worship the Iraqi. Then he raised dua. Our Mawlana raised it, I'm sure, in the masjid. Our ulama raised it in the masjid, which is the dua. We all know about it. Allahumma barik fi bayt al-maqdis wa akna fi bayt al-maqdis. Now the message is deliver. This is the land who's going to fight for the sake of Allah and they're going to be killed. The, the, the land of, of, of Jerusalem and the people surrounded of Jerusalem. So Nabi Jibreel come to Rasulullah because Rasulullah, he knew, he, he see the nur, he knew exactly what's going to happen to, our, to his ummah. So he started to uh, shed the tears. Nabi Jibreel come to Rasulullah, he said, Ya Muhammad, inna Allah yuqri'uka salam. O oh, my beloved Muhammad, Allah, uh, uh, peace upon you, saying to you, he will leave it in every heart of Muslim born and non born. So today when it comes to Palestine, all of us we get heated. All of us we get upset and what's happening to our brother and sister in Palestine. I, I say today, look at the Zionists, what they're doing to you, brother. This, I, I don't need to come to this member and explain to the brother what is happening. You all, I'm sure 99% people know what exactly happening to your brother and sister. I, we granted with opportunity, like I said earlier on, we have an amazing opportunity. We have a permission with document, legitimate document. We will be going to Egypt, inshallah, next week, Monday, not this Monday, the Monday following is going to be the seventh. Uh, arrange with the Egyptian government, arrange with the, with, the, with the Red Cross of Egypt, and we will be taking the medical from the South African brother to the Palestinian and uh, to Gaza. They're going to open the border with delegation. We have also some delegate from the embassy. They will be traveling with us. I appeal from this member to all our brother and sister. Can, let's stop lips. Let's be in actions. We have an amazing opportunity. There's many people out there. They're not happy with this opportunity. It would become a lip stock. Let's come to, to, together, shoulder to shoulder, make this journey happen. If there's any doctor, paramedics, psychology, uh, medical field, media, please come forward. Our door is open. Our offices is open. We are collecting passport. The deadline of the passport is going to be on Monday. That's the last day, Monday evening. We're closing for the passport. Tuesday has to be traveled to the uh, Palestinian embassy, arranged with the Egyptian government. The following week, we'll be traveling. I appeal to all of you to take this message to every brother and sister out there. Palestine, for 72 years, slaughtering. We lost millions of life, and nobody doing anything about it. One missile hit the Zionists, almost 25 billion US dollar being contributed and collect for them. And when it comes to our brother and sister in Palestine, we're not asking for food. We're not asking for building uh, uh, the, uh, the Gaza. We're asking for simple things to collect medical. Is that too much to ask for medical? I appeal to everybody, to all our brothers here, to come forward. If you know any doctors, any nurses, any psychology, anyone when to do something, it's one week, whole full week in Gaza. We have a few doctors on board. They will be actually doing for one week surgery and operation in Gaza. If there's anyone you know, please bring him forward. If you can assist us for this journey to be successful, please do that. If don't leave your brother and sister away from your dua, dua is power, very power. And we always raise dua. Uh, fasting is also power, but now we have an opportunity. Let's do a, a once in our life actions. I say thank you so much to all of you for giving me this opportunity. Shukran to our ulama and our scholars who give me, uh, give us an attention to bring to the brother and sister. I, I appeal to everyone to come forward. Palestine need you, and Palestine war haven't finished, guys. Palestine war started, started from 19, from 72 years. And now with the last war of Gaza, the war is very bad. And after the war stopped, stopped cease fire, no more fire, but we will fire your stomach. We'll fire the light over your head. We'll fire you from, we'll fire you from no getting medicine. We'll fire. That is another war. Let's focus on that. I, I appeal to all of you. Jazakumullah. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. 
I, today I'm standing here. I was in, in 786 radio. I was in the voice of the Cape. Our address is in 95 Ruth Road in Rhinelands. We are everywhere. Please help your brother, not me as Bakir standing in your masjid. They got nothing to do with me. It's for your brother inside there. There was so much collections money for Palestine. There was so much marches in for Palestine. Some people who uh, actually trying to attack us for taking this medical because of the difference. I appeal to every and each one to come forward. Palestine is in a very bad situation as you think if the war is finished. And yes, the brother achieve a victory. The brother have achieved achieve victory for all the Muslims around the world. For every Muslim, say La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, the Palestinian raise their flags right up for those Muslim brothers. Don't, we do not gonna leave them behind. We have an opportunity. Let's make this journey successful. I say shukran, jazakumullah fi kulli khair for giving me this valuable, honored opportunity. And if there's any message, writing message, you wanna write to the Palestinian, please bring it forward. We will take it from your hand to the hand. It's gonna be in a board in Gaza. We'll be reading it, we'll be broadcasted from Gaza Live to South Africa. Shukran, jazakumullah fi kulli khair. I shukran Maulana for giving me this opportunity, our brother and sister hearing my voice, and give us a chance to come address you for what's exactly happening. Shukran, wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.